Hello again, my name's Ant and welcome to my workshop. Now I've been away to Spain, I've come back, it's absolutely freezing and snowing and I need to get back into the groove of things. So I'm gonna select a screwdriver, just as a quick video. Let's see what we've got. This is my um, box of screwdrivers. Now, as you can see, I've got a few Yankees, some Stanleys, some of the old footprints here. I was issued one of these exactly like that when I was an apprentice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna select one of those, bang it on the wire wheel, and then we'll start the video. Okay, I'll give it a, a wire wheel, and let's have a look, see what we've got. It's a lovely steel, as you can see. Uh, it's a company called Atkinson & Son. Uh, it's got warranty. I'm assuming it's made in England. There's a few marks, definitely a few use marks down the end. Uh, some pitting on the other side was probably where it was damp and left in the toolbox or the shed. Um, but it still looks in pretty good condition. There is some pitting on that side as well, but I'm sure we can get that out on the sander. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape the handle and then get this on the sander, clean it all up and give it a polish. As you can see, I'm scraping this. There was a little bit more, um, a few more blobs of paint and what have you that had been dirtied over the years uh, so that I couldn't see them. So I decided to scrape it all down. The top needs a good sand as well. But as you can see in there, there, and there's a big blob there. I've just took them up. There's a big blob there, as you can see. Big blob of white. And I'm going to take the lot down now and see if I can get it a little bit better. Just thought I'd just interject this into the halfway point because uh, I want some ideas about this. I've just received two socket, not complete sets, but you know, there are to do with sockets. Uh, there's this one, it looks simple, ch cheaply made. Uh, I think that slides in there. Obviously, I can't get it out for some reason. There must have been some sort of attachment in there, and obviously, there's no sockets. Um, so there's that one, but this one's a little bit fuller. It's got, well, as far as I can see, a full set. It's got a clip there. It's absolutely filthy, as you can see. Um, a simple socket, but I can't find, a simple ratchet, sorry. Can't find any names on any of this. Um, and I would like some information. Does anybody anywhere know about these sets? Any names, any makers, any manufacturers? And any ideas of what I can do with it? I mean, you know, obviously I want to sort of do it up, polish it, and perhaps repaint the red. Does that give anybody a clue, that T there? You know, um, please let me know in the comments and in the uh, end of this video, because I'm, I'm intrigued to see what I can do with it. Just another slight interjection as I carry on from the um, socket sets. I've just been around the corner, literally just around the corner from Mill. I actually walked around to pick it up. It's an old Chapman, um, made in Sheffield. It has got uh, a part missing, the knob, I believe, from there. So if anybody knows where I can get one of those, let me know. It's in a bit of a rusty state, as you can see. And there has been, I think that might be a repair. But I don't think there's. it's a crack because there's nothing on the other side. So that needs cleaning off. Um, but apart from that... It don't look too bad. Obviously, it needs stripping down and doing. Um, so that is going to be a future project. Let me know where I can get one of these knobs from. And let me know what you think in the comments about this uh, pickup here. It was only £4. I'm happy with that. Um, it'll keep me occupied over the winter months. It's absolutely freezing outside, to be fair. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe, comment, tell your mates. And uh, we'll get on with the screwdriver in a sec. Well, here she is, a screwdriver. Um, bit of a change for me. I've shined it up. I've got, I've kept the name, as you can see. Um, what did I say it was? Yeah, Adkin and Son. Um, and as a slight strange thing for me, I have used shellac on the handle. I don't usually do that. I thought I'd give it a whirl. I put six layers on there, believe it or not. But um, I think it's come up okay. I've left uh, the little blemishes. In. There was a strange little serration on both sides, um, which I have kept. Um, I thought that looked okay. But yeah, I'm quite pleased though it's turned out. I'll put that with the other one. So once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. Uh, I wish I was back in Spain, to be fair. It's absolutely freezing. Uh, it starts to snow again. 
Um, I'm working in Bristol the rest of the week. Um, please subscribe. And as I said, have a great what's left of your weekend and a belated happy Thanksgiving to all the American guys on here. Thanks very much.